this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Pink Fresh Friday where we use strictly Pink Fresh Friday or Pink Fresh um, products and this time I pulled out some of the pinks because I have two things. First I am going to try to do as much as a monochromatic layout as I can. It was a challenge that was over in my group for the virtual crop this past weekend so I pulled out as much of the pinks that I could so I've got happy heart keeping it real this one is happy bloomy bloom happy blooms because it's pink keeping it real um the best day best days because they match my daughter and then this here is all Happy Heart products. Hands down, definitely it. So then we also had a challenge to do a scrap lift. The scrap lift person is so scrappy. And I'll link her up there in the corner. I will link her um, layout that I am going to be scrap lifting from her. So she, I love her. I love her stuff. I love her style. She is just simply amazing. I just love everything about her. So, with that being said, the only thing that I am bringing in that will be a non close to my or a non like Pink Fresh Studio is this bad boy right here. Other than that, let's see what I can. All right, so I'm just gonna give you full disclaimer. My voice isn't the greatest. My allergies have been off the chain, and of course now the sinuses are kicking in. So. I'm going to do my best to do this voiceover. So I am copying um, Sophia Damore. That's how you say it. Dem I'm not sure. I may be saying her last name wrong. But this particular layout is from November 2022. And what she did was is that she had a couple of different papers and some torn edges and all of that. So since this is Pink Fresh Studio, um, like full on... We have to use pink for studio product. I tried to, like I said in the like the beginning part of this, my introduction, I did really, really try to make sure that I kind of stuck to all of the pinks because of that challenge that I had in my group that um, Amy, Scrapping Amy gave us to do either a pink or a blue layout, kind of, you know, try to do as much as you can monochromatic. Now, I know I didn't do that much monochromatic, but when I pulled out all these colors, they actually match pretty well. And this is my daughter's uh, first Friday after we started school. And for her, it was a brand new school and a brand new, you know, brand new school, brand new everything. And it was a lot for her. She, I'm not going to lie, it was a lot. So I am going through all of the papers and I'm giving myself a background for this photo. And I am going to take this pink photo or this pink background from Keeping It Real because it works out because it's like school related and it works out to where it kind of follows what Kaylin does. And she, I know that it looks like she's going to have coffee and all that stuff, but she does drink her hot cocoa. She is a hot cocoa fanatic, so she drinks a lot of that. Um, and every time we go to Starbucks, that's what she gets. So what I'm doing now is, is that I am getting back into I'm going to distress everything and the background piece that I'm going to use is tattered rose and it actually matches with this collection really well and I just wanted a subtle shadow and it fits the bullet so I am just now kind of playing with these um shapes or these frames I should say shapes well it is a shape but these frames I am trying to keep that middle section all about how um Sophia did hers or so scrappy did hers down the middle I really really love how this turns out and I think it matches this layout and this picture really really well of my daughter um it's she's got a Barbie dress on that is um, change the world so I thought I will go through all of these little sayings 
and find some sayings. Now, I start with some of them, and then I kind of change it around. You'll see me end up with what I have done. And she's got some pretty big... Her titles are... Her title in her layout is Santa, We've Been Good. So I figured I would put a small title on top and a bigger title on the bottom. So I said, Unforgivable Love and Extraordinary Moments. That is what I decided to do for my title, and it works beautifully. I think it's perfect. And I love the subtle tattered rose um, like background piece to this because I think it mutes down that white starkness to it, and it still gives that pinkish color, which is still part of that monochromatic um, challenge that I had over at the group. Now, make sure that you go check out everybody that's linked down below. There's always a ton of us doing a bunch of different things with Pink Fresh Studio. Also, make sure to check out not only my group so that you can get in on the March, the March virtual crop, but also my sketchbook is in my description. It is down there. It is linked to where you can do one of the bundles or one of the volumes, both of the volumes, or one or the other, it all depends on, you know, like what you have purchased or what you would like to do. So that all that information is down below, link down below. And I'm just kind of going through all of the pieces and I'm just finding little things. I'm just finding little things that match for, you know, just having that school related event. She, she is such a doll. She is just a doll. Everybody loves her at school. She's she's had a rough year with the kids, but the teachers and stuff have been doing a really good job on navigating her, like the newness for her. And Kaylin's trying really hard to, you know, just fit in or just be yourself or however you want to look at it. And she's just, she's trying her best. And I know it's tough. I'm not going to lie, these kids, some days I wonder, some days I wonder how, like, the, oh, I love the kids, but man, there are days that I even think to myself, I'm like, what are y'all doing? But that's here nor there, and they, they, they do a good job. I love my kids. I love even her um, set of kids that she's in school with. I taught them twice, so... I know that they're trying their best too. It, they're just navigating waters that sometimes we all think of ourselves like, whoa, you know, we got to back up a moment. And that's kind of where she is at too. So, but I am almost done here. I am coming in with some gold splatters and that is it. The still shots are coming up. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. I am super close to 4,000 subscribers. I would love to have you. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.